Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Wednesday, October 2nd, 2019. Happy Hump Day to you all. I hope you guys are having a good week so far, yeah? Um, <clears throat> so keep in mind this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid, all right? So just because this is a reading dated for Wednesday, the 2nd of October, it doesn't mean it has to resonate on that day, yes? Whenever you watch this reading and it resonates for you, that is the message for you at that time, yeah? So let's get into our pre-shuffle energies here. And this is a pretty interesting dynamic. We still have the Fool, okay? with the page of pentacles as our overall energy, right? Um, and I believe, didn't the page, I know the page of pentacles came out yesterday. Um, and I think the fool did as well. I don't remember if it was in the pre-shuffle or in, I think it was in the pre-shuffle actually. Um, <clears throat> and I do remember that when the page of pentacles came out yesterday, it was the other side of the card. It was the back side of the card here. I Was it? Oh, no, actually, it wasn't. It wasn't the backside of the card. However, look, I was turning the card around and just to see the backside. It's not. It wasn't. The, I don't think it was the backside of the card. It was actually just this side of the card. But look at what else is underneath that. The Four of Swords. And I know this card, this side of the card came out either yesterday or Monday. Um, okay, so this is definitely a, a recurring theme for us right now in this, in this either this week or or this time period that you're in. So if this is resonating for you and you're watching this after the week of, well, today is the second of, um, of October. So after that first week in October, then maybe you should, you might want to watch the rest of the week's readings to see how the rest of the messages resonate for you. All right. But here with the page of pentacles here, especially coupled with the rest of the cards, which we'll get into in a second, um, the page of pentacles is it's it's to me it's looking like this this young person or you or us whatever is sizing up this new pentacle that he has okay is is looking at this new pentacle and trying to identify what it is for himself trying to understand it you know trying to see the truth of this new reality that this page of pentacles finds himself in um, him or herself. It really doesn't matter. Although the illustration is male. So it does, I'm not talking about gender here. This has nothing to do with gender. All right. This is all energy. Everything that we're talking about here is energy. So regardless of whatever pronouns I may use, it doesn't matter if it resonates for you and you're a woman and I'm saying he, then take it as it resonates for you. If it resonates for you and you're a man and I'm saying she, just take it as it resonates. This is not about gender. This is all about energy. All right. Excellent. So with the way that this page is sizing up this pentacle, it's quite indicative of what we have here. We have the moon with the Knight of Cups, okay? To me, the Knight of Cups is an energy, when it's not someone that's coming forward, sending a message of love, it could be someone that's emotionally immature, um, it could be a helpless romantic, that kind of energy. It could also be an individual that is moving forward with what is true to their hearts, okay? Moving forward with their true heart's desire, whether, whether that's romantically or not. So this could be a romantic situation for you. It doesn't have to be. To be quite honest, I'm not really picking up any romantic vibes with this. This is all about, this is really, what I'm picking up on is really an internal journey, okay? Um, the hermit's journey, really. Which is the the path of self discovery, yes, um, <clears throat> and that and and maybe and I don't know that really resonates with my life, um, and so that's what's coming through here. But if something else is coming going to come through, I'll feel it and I'll tell you guys. But right now, I really feel like those of us that are connecting with the messages from from this channel, uh, from divine the channel of divine conversations, yes, um, we're all kind of resonating on this journey of self-discovery okay so that's what, what that's what's coming through here right now but so we have the moon <clears throat> of which you see this this woman who is n naked and she's um she's presenting herself to you this is the the high priestess 
to be, uh, uh, I, I believe, when I was reading over the book before, this was an um, image of the high priestess who has now come forward to present her secrets to you or present you with an option, present you with a choice. Yes? Okay. And you could see that choice as the light versus whatever this substance is. I don't know what that is. And she kind of has a smirk on her face, like, all right, so given what everything that you've been through right now, secrets are being revealed here, yes, what are you going to choose? And in, in, in keeping with this here, the Page of Pentacles, we're embarking on a new journey. We find ourselves in a new environment, energetically, physically, maybe. Um, I do see the Page of Pentacles as a kind of level up energy, okay? Um, so often this card will come out when we've hit a new level and we're, we're tr basically trying to find our footing. I like to call it like, like being a toddler, all right. And trying to learn how to walk a, a walk or something like that, you know? Um, and what I feel like is being analyzed here is what our true heart's desires are. What is really going to make us happy? I feel like we're in a phase right now where we're looking at all of the the elements of our lives that are still standing in our lives given that we've been going through this awakening process over however much time you want to however long you've been going through it it really doesn't matter but it seems that we're on on a collective scale we're conscious we're at this place where we are consciously examining that which is in front of us and we're trying to say, okay, what resonates with me and what doesn't? Well, this used to resonate with me. Why doesn't it resonate anymore? And then going through that process and revealing those secrets there, okay? Also coming to a place where we are leading with our hearts. I also see the Knight of Cups as having, a, 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 living with your heart on your sleeve. That kind of energy, yeah. I'm sorry about the lighting, you guys. My, it's, it's kind of, it's, I don't know why it's I don't know why it's doing these things, but um, okay. I guess, and I have my I have my lights on. I have my my lamp on here. It's weird. I don't know. All right. Hopefully it'll get better. But okay. All right. So that's a really that's a good energy. It's an interesting energy. It feels. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. It feels a little troubling, but that's mainly because it's pushing us out of our comfort zones. Okay. Yep, that page of pentacles again with the fool. Okay, so we are, we're embarking on a really, we really are embarking on a brand new journey. Um, taking some sort of leap of faith, moving in some sort of new direction. At least, and, and it's not, it's, it's, it's not that we're actually taking this leap. For some of you, you may very well be, all right? But for others of us, it's like, it's, but with that, yeah, yes, yes. Okay, with the fool card, it's like you're at, you're getting ready to jump off the cliff. You're getting ready to take some sort of leap of faith in a new direction, in a direction that is in more alignment with you, that is in greater alignment with you. But you can't, you have to figure out what is in most, what is in greatest alignment with you right now. Two of Wands. That's all. You got to figure out what is in greatest alignment with you, and that's what I see happening here right now. Okay, the High Priestess on that Moon card okay is speaking directly to your heart all right is asking you to make a choice directly from your heart not with your mind not logically we're not speaking logically here we're talking about what moves you what drives you what are you passionate about what does your heart say where what is your heart asking for in some cases what is your what is your heart screaming for yes And I guess you could call this a head over heart moment, but I don't even really want to call it that because ideally your head and your heart should be working together. However, I do feel like your heart should be or probably is the best place to hold most of your discernment. Discernment, I really feel like would be best placed if coming from the heart and not necessarily from the mind. And for some of us, that actually really may be something that you're learning to do. That totally resonates with me right now. 
And actually, I've been doing readings for people lately in which that kind of has been the topic of discussion. We're, we're having to choose what it is we want to do, where it is we want to go, what we want to manifest next, what we want to experience next. And we've all been in this mind or in this space of making the logical decision, right, instead of making a decision from the heart. And so we're being faced with this opportunity to make a decision from the heart to at least at least start by seeing things from your heart's perspective and then making a decision from there. But just seeing things from your heart's perspective is a bit of a challenge because we are so conditioned to lead with our minds, to lead with logic and concrete evidence rather than intuition and foresight and your heart. So this is very new. Okay. Wow. It's not a bad thing, guys. That's not a bad thing at all. <laughs> and then the two of swords. <laughs> all right. But um, yeah, okay. I will mention that. The two of swords did kind of show itself. And now the queen of wands is here. But the two of swords showed itself. And that was actually really... Um, that is an energy that we've kind of been in because we've been in, unable to see clearly. But now with the moon here, now we did just have a new moon <clears throat> this past weekend, didn't we? Anyway, but what the moon is saying here is that things are starting to be revealed for you. And it may be because you may have been shedding layers of conditioning. So now things actually can, once what once was hidden from you, over under layers of conditioning now is being revealed to you and it was is is so perfect that the high priestess would be the individual coming forward to reveal these things to you showing herself in her true form naked not in her high priestess garb not in not on her throne and not in front of you know guarding her area but now coming to you as the divine being that she is no different from the divine being that you are to reveal, to help you see some things that may have been hidden from you in the past. That's beautiful. That is so beautiful. All right, let's get into the rest of this reading here, guys. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Wednesday, our hump day. <laughs> Wednesday, September, nope, no, sorry, October 2nd, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, I'm going to give this five shuffles, but um, this song just popped into my head. It's an Usher song. You don't have to call. You don't have to call. It's okay, girl, because I'm going to be all right tonight. I don't know why that just popped into my head. I do remember that it popped into my head a few days ago. I think I was watching... I, I, I guess I was watching a Twin Flame video, maybe. Maybe it was a Divine Map. But it was, I remember it was a message that came through while I was watching some sort of video, probably for the, well, yes, probably for the Divine Masculine. It was a message from Divine Masculine Energies. Um, I don't remember what I was watching, but I don't, why, I wonder why, I don't know why that came up. Okay, well, we're going to give this... <laughs> We're going to give this five shuffles and we'll see what we've got for our Wednesday. You don't have to call. It's okay, girl. Shuffle number three. Huh. I don't know. Maybe somebody knows. Maybe that is. Maybe that resonates for somebody. Take it as it resonates. <laughs> Four. And five. All right, spirit. 
What would you like to discuss with us today? What is going on with the energies? What is going on with the energies for today? Wednesday, October 2nd. October 2nd. You don't have to call. See, that's stuck in my head. I don't know why it's stuck in my head. Okay. They say, well, I know some has, some has fallen out, but as usual, my eyes are closed. But, um, okay. Uh, one more pass, they say. Yes, please. All right. And say October 2nd. The, the color is still orange. It was orange yesterday. And immediately to this morning, as I sat down to start channeling these energies, that's enough. It was immediately, it was orange again. Ooh, uh-oh. Ooh, ooh. All right. We have the Page of Cups as the overall energy here with the Seven of Cups on the other side. All right. That's good. It's This is the Page of Cups is the dreamer energy. Your overall... Okay, okay, wait. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Before we go into this, your overall energy... I, I don't know why I'm feeling so compelled to say it this way, but gosh, and I'm sorry, guys. I want my lighting... I want my lighting to be so much better than it is. Oh, wait. Okay, hold on a second, guys. I'm gonna go see if I can, I gotta shift my, um, shift my uh, blinds. Maybe this is the problem. I doubt it, but we'll see. <laughs> we, ooh, there go my sunglasses. Okay. No, that didn't really help. Oh, well. All right. Anyway, um, before we get into this, your overall energy is good. All right. You have the page of cups with the seven of cups and it's not the bad side of the seven of cups. Okay. It's the side of the seven of cups with the angel here where the angel is poking through and say, Hey, there is a solution to all of this. Okay. I promise there, there, there look, just, just stay, bear with us. Okay. Everything's going to be all right. But then we get here, we have the Page of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and then we have the Two of Swords with the Queen of Swords. Oh. Okay, well, I guess I get it. Um, I mean, I do and I don't. This is a weird energy. This feels like you're stuck. You have the Wheel of Fortune with the Page of Wands in reverse. Wheel of Fortune... This is a blockage. Guys, this is a blockage here. And what's blocking it? This change, this new, the cycle moving forward, the, the phoenix from the ashes risen, the, the brand new... The brand new understanding of yourself, the new creative vision, the new project, whatnot, whatever, is on hold, is on pause, is blocked for a little bit, okay? And you are standing in this energy, the Queen of Swords with the Two of Swords, and yet there's nothing for you to, you, you, you want to make some cuts here, okay? You're not fucking around. There are some cuts that want to be made here. All right. But there is an inability to do so. Two of swords. Which then leads us to our overall energy. The page of cups with the seven of cups. This is you weeding through. Page of cups. Seven of cups. So this ultimately is good. It is good. Illumination is being brought to your circumstances here. So where you may have been, oh good, look at what, what's underneath that, the Four of Wands, excellent. Okay, the Four of Wands is underneath the Seven of Cups. That's great, I'll get to that in a second. But where you may have been like this gentleman here who looks like he's blind, can you see that? Yeah, you see that? He's blind, okay? And he's wandered his way out into this marsh and now he doesn't know what to do. Doesn't know how to get back home. Probably doesn't even know where he is. 
okay? Wouldn't know where home is in relation to where he currently finds himself. So where you may have been this individual here, wandering around aimlessly in the marsh, lost and confused and alone, feeling alone, well now the sun is shining. And some, there, there is help here. There is assistance coming forward to guide you to where it is you want to be. Not where you are supposed to be, not where, I guess you could say not where you need to be. Well, where you want to be, where you desire to be, where you've been trying to get all along, okay? Divine help is here. Divine guidance is here. And especially with the Four of Wands underneath the Seven of Cups, this is beautiful. This is perfect. Because this is the spiritual foundation that you need to face all of this, to clear it all away, so that you can, like the phoenix rising from the ashes, embody your new life, your new existence, what it is you're working on achieving, what it is you're striving for. Okay. My nose is acting up again, guys. Literally, I'll be fine all day. But as soon as I sit down to do morning coffee, my nose wants to act up. Take that as it resonates. Because it doesn't bother people. I get comments about it. And it's like, look, I, I yes, I have... I mean, I can keep tissues here, I can, but I'm not going to stop every five minutes just to blow my nose. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> and this is the only time that it's been happening lately. I noticed that yesterday. I, w I, I did morning coffee and I was fine for the rest of the day, guys. So take it as it resonates. We're going to move forward. Hold on, wait, I'm gonna blow my nose. Okay, you ready? Hold on, hold on. Before I do that though, let me make sure that, you damn right I'm being obnoxious about it. Let me make sure that I turn off the sound. Okay, we're back. And now we're going to get into some clarification. And what I want to do is I want to start with this. Okay. Yes, I want to get some clarity. I want to get some greater definition on what these energies are for you here. What is it really? And I, almost, I kind of want to see if we can figure out what is blocking your vision here. Yes, this is uh, technically, technically this is indecisiveness with this two of swords, right? But it's indecisiveness because of a lack of, a a lack of clear vision. And it may be this clear vision that you're kind of working on cultivating right now is kind of what that feels like. But let's see. What is this energy here for you guys? The queen of swords. Two of, ooh, whoa, that's a lot, you guys. Holy shit, that's a lot. Okay, overall, en <laughs> overall energy is the moon. <laughs> okay, you have the seven of swords. Look at this massive stack of cards. Okay, you have the seven, no, you have the star, excuse me. The ten of cups, the father of cups, or the king of cups, the fool, the ace of cups, the five of cups, judgment, the two of swords again. The Tower with the Page of Cups. All right, well, this right here sums it up. The Tower with the Page of Cups. Okay. Um, in this deck, it's the Daughter of Cups. Oh, my God. Ugh. Sorry, guys. Um, and now my nail is is falling apart too <laughs> i'm getting distracted excuse me the tower with the page of cups kind of sums it up all right so some what this is saying to me is something had to change and that something had to change because or there was a realization that something had to change here um because of the ace of cups well well actually because of these three things the Ace of Cups, the Fool, and the King of Cups. The King, or Father of Cups here, is talking about 
emotional maturity. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. No, I thought I was going to sneeze again. Okay. Ah. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to pause. I'm going to ask a question. Can we stop making a big deal of my allergies now, please? That would be awesome. Thanks. Okay. The Father of Cups, the Fool, and the Ace of Cups. This is emotional maturity here. This is the, what, I'm lit what I'm literally getting is the emotional maturity to stop what it is you're doing that is no longer serving you and to take a leap of faith somewhere else. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you're taking that leap of faith now, but your willingness to take a leap of faith and to change directions. That's what really spirit is saying. To change directions, change trajectory is what is influencing this for you. Okay, so what's causing the indecisiveness right now? You have judgment with the Two of Swords and the Five of Cups. You're still working through the disappointment, Seven of, which leads us to this. Seven of Swords, the Star, and the Ten of Cups. You've been, people have been following dreams, have been following path, what Spirit is saying is, People have been following paths that have been put in, put in front of them that are inorganic or inauthentic to who they truly are as a spiritual being having a physical life, a physical experience. Basically, we were sold pipe dreams. We were sold gold-plated nickel, seven of swords. Seven, seven of swords with the star and the ten of cups. And now, now it has taken, it has taken the disappointment, the disappointment in not achieving your goals. And it's really not about not achieving your goals. It's about not achieving what it is that you set out for, which is okay. Maybe you just haven't achieved it yet, but no, it's not, it's different than that because in the constant failure, we'll call it. We'll put that in air quotes, the constant failure, although you're really not failing. In the grand scheme of things, when you really look at it from a higher perspective, you're not failing at all. You're going through the process of learning. But for lack of a better term, to, under, to make better conscious understanding of it, of how we communicate, in, in terms of how we communicate, I will say, through constant failure, constantly coming up against the same circumstances over and over again, potentially for some of us, we started to question we started to say, why is this not working? Which led you to say, wait a second, why do, this isn't even what I want. Is this even what I want? Is this even what I set out for? Is this even really going to be what I was told, what I was sold it was gonna be? Se with the Seven of Swords, the Star, and the Ten of Cups? Come on, guys. So the confusion here or the inability to see clearly, or what it is you are trying to work through, the illusions you're seeing past that you're working on getting past with this moon energy here, has to do with dealing with the heartbreak. And the main question is, why didn't this work? Or why isn't this working? The tower with the page of cups. Something has got to give. Something has got to be destroyed. What is it that I truly want? The Page of Cups is the dreamer energy, and that is what you have here in your overall energy. Page of Cups, Seven of Cups, right? I just heard the cycle is ending, okay. This is on hold. This is the next step. 
Page of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. Change in destiny, change in karma, change for the better, I will call it. But in order for you to do that, there has to, you have to go through this judgment period of dealing with the grief, the heartbreak. This is basically like, you can look at this as, as <clears throat> this is interesting, but Spirit just gave me, gave me this image. You can see this as a mini life review. So like when we die, right, when, when our bodies expire and we go back home to where we came from, which is in essence, which truly is the spiritual realm, right? We go through a lifetime review in which we look back and we watch the story of our lives and we, we, I guess for lack of a better term, pass judgment on ourselves and say, okay, what was successful? What can I do better? What do I want to do? What do I want to try again? And we are, we personally are the only ones that are passing judgment on our own lives. And it's, it's understood or it's been said that God passes judgment, but no, God doesn't even do that. We are the ones that do that. We judge ourselves on what, how we did, right? And then we come to a conclusion and then we choose our next journey from there. <clears throat> so you can see this period right now here in this physical conscious, consciousness, these physical, this physical incarnation, you can see this as a, as a mini life review. Judgment, two of swords, five of cups. And I just heard the question specifically, where is it that I need to go next? Take that as it resonates, okay? So now, spirit wants to talk. Um, so we're going to go with to the Golden Universal Tarot. And they're going to give us guidance on this. Food for, for, <laughs> food for thought. <laughs> food for thought, they say. <laughs> food for thought. <laughs> it's like, it's like I, got, I got Irish all of a sudden. <laughs> I do, I mean, my grandmother, the one that, um, it's on this, this uh, prayer card that I, I removed. This used to be on my desk all the time. This is a prayer card from when my grandmother passed. She was the only grandmother that me and my sister, grandparent that my sister and I grew up with. Um, her husband passed when I was a toddler. This is on my mother's side. And then my father's grandparent, my father's parents, I believe they passed before I was born. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't remember meeting them. I don't even remember meeting my grandfather. I was on my mother's side. I was so young, but um, my grandmother, who I called Guma, she, we called her Guma, um, she passed in 2007, and this is her eulogy card, or not, her, her prayer card from her, her funeral. I, I mentioned that for two reasons. One, somebody asked, um, and I forgot to, I never responded, but two, um, she was Irish, and so I do have Irish blood, <laughs> or I am of a little bit of Irish descent. Like, she was, she was Brooklyn Irish. I believe she was born here, but her family migrated from Ireland, but Anyway, that was a total like sidebar, a little bit of backstory on my life. <laughs> All right, Spirit wants to talk here to, to provide us for some food for thought, food for thought. So <laughs> we're gonna give this one more shuffle and then we'll see what Spirit has to say here. The Empress just caught my eye. Um, and the Empress did come out yesterday. And so, and this is just a continuation of that message in terms of we're in a gestational period right now where we're giving birth to something brand new in our lives. And this really, I really do feel like this is a new, a brand new representation of us, Page of Wands, okay? Which to me is a minor arcana version of the Hermit, all right? But... Let's see what spirit has to say. What is this food for thought you are? Ooh, that was the Ten of Pentacles, I believe. Ace of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Whoa. All right, the Chariot with the Eight of Wands. Interesting. <laughs> with the Page of Cups again. Three times, y'all. Three times. 
do we have do we have the page of cups here where's the other one here it is one two three the dreamer energy guys this this is a time to pay attention to your daydreams and I just saw 333 on the counter. So we've got the Ascended Masters here to help us with this. This absolutely is a time to pay attention, Ace of Swords, to pay attention to your dreams. All right. You have this inspiration, Ace of Wands. And this is true. Spirit is acknowledging that we do have this inspiration to move in a new direction. Okay. But what we're working on is defining what that true direction is for us, which makes perfect sense. So you know you have this feeling to move in a new direction. There may not be all that much of a drive or that much energy to really... I'm so sorry about... Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry about the light, the, the, the lighting. It's, it sucks. But anyway... Um, you have this, this inspiration to move in a different direction, this drive, and yet it's really, it, it, you just feel it. It's just a feeling. There really is no real concrete, solid way or direction or, or guidance to move a certain way or do a certain thing, something like that. Okay, that's what this feels like. That's fine. Right now, what is important is to do the work, the craftsmanship work, in order to flesh out what that direction is or what the what those steps are what it is what that goal is what is to flesh out what is is what is this inspiration what is this desire to move in a new direction what is this new direction what is this new project what is this new thing that you want to take on this what is this new undertaking right the Page of Cups here is the energy of the dreamer, the daydream, figuring out, going through your emotions, feeling through your emotions. With the chariot here, this is you being in alignment with your inner being, your higher self, having, being in a balanced emotional state, bringing the... The, 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 the two opposing sides of you, masculine and feminine, light and dark, good and bad, your emotions, bringing all of that into balance in order to start driving forward. And part of this work here that is symbolized by the Eight of Pentacles, good God, part of this work, now my nose is itching. Do you see? Do you see? The struggle is real, y'all. <laughs> now the, um, the work, this craftsmanship work is to focus on your thoughts. What makes you feel good? When you feel good, you are in that alignment. Practice staying in that alignment. Practice staying in that feel-good place. There are going to be moments where, you know, you're experiencing contrast and you're moving out of that feel-good place, but that's okay. That's going to happen. That's inevitable. That's part of why we're here. But with that said, work practice moving yourself back into this state of alignment. Do you guys remember when I was, I was, um, it was two weeks ago maybe, I was talking about how I've been watching a lot of Abraham lately, and a Abraham says that Esther consider herself, considers herself just the pointer at this point. And I started to consciously and cognitive, cognitive, cognitively understand that, and, I saw, and it, I saw it as the chariot, the pointer being the individual that is in the chariot, You're the alignment which is in alignment with the inner being, which is driving you to where it is you want to go, represented by these two sphinxes here, right? This is being in alignment and working. This, this craftsmanship, right, is, is perfecting the art of staying in that place of alignment, yes, but then also getting down to what it is you truly want in your emotions. Eight of Wands to me, is a minor arcana version of the chariot. Clear and open air. I mean, the way is clear. As long as you continue to perfect this art, 
of staying in alignment with your inner being, the way is going to be clear for you. No doubt about that, y'all. Beautiful, beautiful energy. I really like this. Okay. So let's get your closing oracle guidance here. I'm going to do that. Jeez, I keep... Wow. Number synchronicities are insane, guys. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm, I'm going to stick with the uh, dragons. And I really apologize for the lighting. I hope it's better. Hi. <laughs> I hope it's better for you guys, but from what I'm seeing, it's kind of dark and a little hazy. I, I'll be, I'm going to wipe the camera. Yeah, that's not helping either. Oh, well. Well, actually, that is a little bit better, but... Oh, boy. The struggle is really all... All right. <laughs> Last shuffle. And we'll see what we've got for today. Your oracle guidance here from the dragons. I love this deck. Uh oh Oh, there it is. I was like, oh, no, where's the book? There it is right there. Aw. Quan Yin's pink dragon brings firm love that resets your karmic balance. Oh, my God, you guys, look, that's exactly what I was talking about here with the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Wands. This is like a karmic reset. Oh, my God. Yes. See all of your cords dissolved by transcendent love. Enjoy your freedom. Look for the divine around you. And actually, that is a that is a perfect message. That's very poignant, especially for this moment. Enjoy your freedom. Page of Cups, okay? Look for the divine around you. Page of Cups. Your freedom right now is coming from releasing the burdens, releasing the chains, the attachment, the ties. I'm hearing to certain business practices, to certain outcomes. Interesting, business practices was a strong one there. Quan Yin's pink dragon is of the fifth dimension, and it's page 46. Um, some of you, and well, this would resonate with someone that I just did a reading for two days ago. Some of you are looking for, and many of us actually, are looking for a new job, a new form of business, a new way of making money, something that is more in alignment with who we truly are as individuals, as beings, as these spiritual beings having this, you know, physical existence. Many of us don't want to deal with the, 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 the normal nine to five anymore, or at least we don't want to deal with toxic business environments. Like, no, we've come too far for that. Okay. This card says, Quan Yin was a great and revered dragon master who lived for 2,000 years in China. Her fifth dimensional pink dragons created special portals for her so that she could go through them and rest in higher planes. This is how she was able to maintain a physical body for such a long period. Quan Yin's dragons are the most beautiful pale pink color the luminous pink of the sacral chakra. They will pour their transcendent love into any cords that tie us to others, whether it's from this life or any other, in any dimension or plane of existence, dissolving all karma under the law of grace. The guidance here is, choosing this card offers you an opportunity to heal all your relationships, including those from past lives that you may be unaware of. Ask Quan Yin's beautiful pink pale dragons, pale pink dragons, excuse me, to dissolve the cords that still tie you to others and sit quietly while they do so. You may sense or feel them release you, releasing you completely. Take a moment to feel the freedom that this offers you. And, and there is a, a message coming through. You, even once you really start to feel this freedom, you don't have to rush into anything new. Take some time to enjoy it. Like, just sit in it, revel in it for a little bit. Allow yourself to enjoy the freedom, the sense of freedom that comes with dissolving all this stuff that no longer serves you, yeah? 
You don't have to jump into the next great endeavor. There's one thing, a, 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 a saying that I've been hearing a lot lately. It, it's about staying busy. Why stay busy all the time? Oh, well, that distracts you from what's going on. Um, but it also distracts you from yourself. Sometimes you need to just stay calm and just be. Do nothing, but just be. Right? These great-hearted dragons will help you to see with eyes of love. Look for the divine in everyone and be aware of all situations from a higher understanding, knowing that Kuan Yin's pink, gentle pink dragons are by your side. These gracious dragons will enable you to enrich your relationships and transform your friendships. They will help you to treat all people with greater respect, care, and love than ever before. Remember to thank them for enhancing your life. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, yeah, with that, I hope you guys have a great day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Y'all, yeah? take care. Mwah! Bye.